what is Kanban? There are lots of different definitions of Kanban and there are lots of misunderstandings about what Kanban is. At its, at its core, um, Kanban is a strategy, not an actual system of delivering stuff. So that's, that's what, one of the common misunderstandings of Kanban is that it's a system of delivering stuff. It's not. It's a strategy to help you understand your existing system of delivering stuff and help you optimize that system of delivering stuff. So quite often I'll, I'll sometimes describe it as a meta process, right? It's a process that lets you monitor a process, which just messes with people's heads. But effectively, um, Kanban brings the, 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 some rigor and some metrics and some analysis of those metrics to allow you or your team or your organization to look at any system and what's happening in that system and um, adapt it in a good way. Right, so you can see when we make a change to the system, how does that affect the data? How does that affect the flow of work through that system? And if you've made a positive impact, you keep doing that thing. And if you've made a negative impact, you you stop doing that thing. Right, you go back to the old way. So, um, you could also say that Kanban is a work limited pool system, but that's a little bit like nobody understands that terminology. The easiest way to describe it is. It's a way of looking at your existing system and helping you as an individual ask more interesting questions about how that system goes together in order to have a more optimal system, to have work flow through your system more effectively, right? So Kanban, uh, a Kanban strategy can be applied to any system doesn't matter what the system is if the stuff going through a system uh, whether that is um, a checkout at a supermarket right that's a system with stuff flowing through it or um, your engineering team and you've got work flowing through it or your creative team and you've got work flowing through it it doesn't matter what your system is Kanban brings that Kanban strategy that you apply brings a little bit of rigor to that system and some metrics that allow you to monitor that system. Uh, so for example, one of, one of the key things that happens at the beginning of any Kanban discussion is that you, you, you create what Kanban calls a definition of workflow, right? All that means is you write down how you work. That's it. That's all a definition of workflow is. You, you, you've got your way of working for a particular thing that you do. It could be a team with work going through it. It could be a, a, a machine that processes something. It could be at checkout at a supermarket, right? And you write down the way everything works in that system. Because what, what a lot of people, even just the act of doing that can create optimizations in the system um, because... If you've got five people working in a system and you've never written down how that system works, what do you think the chances are that everybody working in that system uses the same terminology, makes the same, same or similar decisions, applies the same rules to playing the game? Uh, th yeah, that's a great example, actually. I like that one as well. So if you, if you went out and, and, and bought Monopoly, I'm not suggesting it, by the way, there are way better games than that. But if you did buy Monopoly, because it's the most common thing, right? You can find it in every supermarket. If you went out and bought Monopoly and you immediately tore up the rule book and you just guessed how to play the game and you had four people playing the game and everybody just guessed. based based, I, I, And Monopoly is a good one because everybody knows how Monopoly kind of works, right? Everybody knows how Monopoly kind of works. Would, would everybody be playing the same game? Would everybody be playing by the same rules? Would everybody have the same understanding of the mechanisms of the game and how, it's, how, it, how it actually works? No, they wouldn't, right? They would, 
they would each come up with their own way of doing it. And if you've ever been at one of those family do's where you've got Monopoly out, you argue over how the rules work. You argue as a group, as a family, about how you should play the game. Because you're not, you've not agreed as a group how to play it, right? That's, that's what the rule book that comes with a game is. It's here's the way you play the game. So what what's where's the rule book for your team, for the way your team works? Where's the rule book? When a new team member comes in, do they also just make up how they work? And then you tell them when they're doing it wrong and hopefully they end up figuring out how to do it right? Doesn't make any sense. You write it down. So what that typically what that typically looks like, we we all see what 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 a lot of people do is they draw a board on the wall right or or in jira or in azure devops and it has a bunch of columns and they call that kanban that's not a kanban strategy that's just a board right anybody can have a board and have work flow through the board part of the kanban is deciding agreeing what that work what that what that workflow is right and once you've agreed what that workflow is, you can then um, apply some metrics and monitor what's going on in that workflow, right? And once you're monitoring what's going on in that workflow, right, just looking at the data is not enough, empiricism, remember, right? You have to actively manage the work that's going through the system. So you actively make choices about what is happening within the system in order to, 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 op, to optimize the outcome. And then you're gonna look at the data to improve the system, right? So you look at the data and then you actively make changes to the workflow. So you've written down how you think you work right now, right? That's where you start. That's why they, they, there's an expression they use in Kanban, which is start, start from where you are, right? That's, that's the expression. So where you are is what you do right now. So write down what you do right now that's your current definition of workflow. You build the board, you visualize your work in process, your work that's going on, and then you start using it. And you're like, oh, crap, we didn't think about this. Oh, 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 that doesn't quite work like that. So you start making changes so that it more accurately reflects your definition of workflow. And then because you're visualizing your work, you start noticing things. Humans are really good at visual, uh, uh, um, seeing when things aren't quite right or the way you think they should be. And then you can go look at the data and go, no, 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 we should actually change this. We shouldn't have two columns, we should have one. Or we shouldn't have one column, we should have two. And then you make those decisions, you're changing your workflow, you're actively managing your work and you're changing your workflow. And that's what creates the, 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 the it's not really a cycle like a sprint is, but it's a continuous improvement loop, right? Of optimizing your process, making a little change. Did we make it better? Yes, awesome, awesome. Let's, let's see what's going. Okay, we use it for a while. Okay, th but this is still broken. This doesn't work right. Okay, well, let's fix it. Let's try something different. Okay, now does that work right? Yeah, 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 that works great, right? So this, this, this application of, it's actually an application of Little's Law. You can go look that up later. But this application of uh, um, a Kanban strategy to any system will help improve it. If your current system of work is failing you, then you would benefit from creating and applying a Kanban strategy. Don't wait. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll improve. Get in touch below.